Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this video is how to put in a front door. We're going to be putting in a, a, t a double panel uh, front door in uh, the front of our house, and this will cut out of the house. If we scoot out a little bit, you can see what this cutout is. It's on the right, right side of the house, and the, the, the objective with this cutout is to provide a little bit of shelter from the elements when one's going from the outside to the inside. And hopefully that person's welcome to come in the house when they come to your house. But as a complement to that, we're also going to be putting in a uh, roof over the door. We're not going to do it in this video, but it's one of the requirements for the test. So, this cutout is about uh, three or four feet, I believe, in uh, depth as it goes into the house. So if you just click on a wall to give you that dimension, we're not going to make a permanent dimension. It's not a requirement for this test, but... You know, go ahead and draw it something similar to this would be fine. But you do want to have a specific uh, width to the uh, to the opening here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's take that temporary dimension, make it a permanent one. We'll drag this back. We're going to give this a very specific dimension. And we could do this two ways. If you take the dimension leader and click on that middle grip in there, that gives us the ability to move that out to the outside. Or with the tab key, we can select uh, what we like. So right now it's 8 foot 6 inches. If we want to make that more, we can always uh, move that uh, wall down a little bit. Maybe nine feet. Nine feet might might not be bad. It's a whole foot unit, so let's go ahead and stick with that and uh, install our door. The desire with this door is actually put it in the middle of this space, so it looks uh, visually from the outside. So you know, from the outside, it should look uh, centered. So let's go into this. Let's go to the door button. And if you haven't done so let, uh, yet, let's go ahead and load the family. What I'm looking for is a double panel door. So it opens up on one side and opens up on the other side. So there's a couple different uh, choices we have up here. Double glass, double glass two, double panel one, double panel two. You don't have a whole lot in the way of choices within the library within Revit, but you can go to the Revit, uh, the Autodesk uh, Seek site, or you can go to Revit City, and there's a lot more in the way of choices. And these choices are actually dictated a lot by uh, manufacturers who put a lot of effort into their models in the hopes that when you design houses that uh, you're going to call out uh, some of their uh, doors and windows uh, for purchase by the person who's going to be building the house and the ultimate owner. So let's go ahead and uh, choose double panel 2. Go to open. I want to make sure that we choose a, um, when we do that, and go up to the proper one, I'm going to get a maybe a 6 foot wide door by 84 inches. So 84 inches tall, 72 inches wide. Uh, let's go ahead and plop that into place. I'm going to make sure that the door is open in the inside, and I'm not going to, just to demonstrate this next uh, element here, this next item, I'm not going to center there, or even try to center it, but I'm just going to drop it into place. And we already have dimensions that are out here, so if we wanted to, if we click in the door again, and get those dimensions, we're going to make those uh, permanent dimensions from the temporary dimensions that were, adjust these dimensions, by double clicking on that and uh, because we already have a dimension in a place it's not going to allow us to select that uh, that side so it will on that side but for some reason we'll let us do it on that side so we're going to force it a little bit and with the tab key we're going to go ahead and grab that uh, middle grip click on the appropriate wall and uh, there we have it so now we have two dimensions with some fractions of an inch uh, precision to it I'm going to click on that dimension again, and this is what you want to click on to. It's called the, the quality constraint. If you click on that, what it does is it centers that door within the constraints that we've uh, established for it on those dimensions and puts the EQ uh, sign uh, symbol in there. We can keep that EQ symbol if you like, or we can actually put a uh, real dimension in there. If you want to put a real dimension in there, what you do is you click the dimension. If you want to put a real value in there, if you go over here to your properties palette, go to your quality text, and scroll down to value. And then go to apply and then what we have is a four and a half foot uh, dimension, four foot six inches, which is of course half the nine feet. So that looks good so far. We got our door centered. We got it installed of course. We have a you know a, the the space uh, for that cutout defined. Let's go ahead and put in our skylights. Skylights are kind of uh, different in a way because they are windows within the door folder. So we're going to have to choose a window when we do this. And before we do this, let's go to the elevation so we can see a little bit more clear what we're going to be doing with the skylights. So what we're going to be doing is putting lights, uh, windows, in the sides of the door, and they're called skylights. Go to the window button. Let's go ahead and load a family. And this is under the door folder. Scroll down a little bit. It's called a side light, so we have a choice between side light 1 and side light 2. I think side light 2 probably matches our door architecture in a way. <coughs> Pardon me. 
or in the Skylight 1 does. And we're not going to put these in, in uh, any sort of a... Uh, um, we're not going to try to uh, apply constraints here, at least not yet. But we do want to make sure we have the right size. So let's go ahead and choose, uh, just for the sake of demonstration, for our side light here, let's choose 14 inches by 84 inches. We want to make sure that the height of the skylight is the same height as the door. And put it in over here. And put one in over here. Now it's actually digging into the wall a little bit. And uh, we actually have it on the wrong wall. So let's go ahead and do that again. Go to Window. Scroll down, sidelight 2, and we'll put it there on that wall. So, yeah, this doesn't really look good, and probably should have uh, made this uh, a little bit uh, little bit wider from the very beginning, but we can go ahead and change that. So let's click in this wall and make this dimension maybe uh, 11 feet instead. Yeah, it says insert uh, conflicts with join wall. So it looks like um, our doors are no longer... Uh, it's no longer centered in that space. Our door is, but uh, our skylights aren't. So we're going to go ahead and um, adjust that a little bit. Move that down with our arrow keys, perhaps. But what we really want to do is apply some sort of constraint. Now our door is still centered, but our skylights aren't. So let's go back to our, that elevation and see what we can do about cleaning this up. We're going to use the alignment tool for this now. So if you go to the modify tab, go to the alignment tool, we're going to choose the door as a constraint, as our uh, static. Uh, element in regard to aligning something, and then we're going to click on the skylight, and we're going to put that together, and we're going to lock it. Same thing on the other side. Click on the edge of the door over here, which is going to be our static uh, element that we're going to choose uh, to move something for the alignment tool, and we're going to click on the edge of the skylight, and we're going to lock that. So now the skylights are centered, the door is centered, and we should be all set to go. Let's go back to our first floor plan, take a look at that, make sure everything's still good. And these dimensions are a little bit far out, so you might want to pull these in a little bit. And of course, the longer dimensions go on the outside, like that dimension. And just to finalize this, let's go to our 3D view and take a look and see what that looks like. Yeah, not bad. So a sketch roof. There we have a video on that on the website. Perhaps a sketch roof off in this area uh, would be good and bring that out over the door and a little bit over the outside. And I think we're all set to go. Thank you for joining me.